Being the team leader at a grand tour is a great privilege, but also quite a big responsibility. And for some people, that can weigh quite heavy on their shoulders, especially if, for example, they are one of the race favourites. So we thought we'd come and talk to Team Sunweb about how they look after their team leader, because after Tom Dumoulin's amazing victory last year in the Giro d'Italia, he's definitely one of 2018's favourites. So we thought we'd ask them how they look after him. Right, so here we are talking to Brian Stevens, who is one of Sunweb's team director sportifs. He's taken some time out of his quite busy planning schedule, thanks Brian, to tell us a little bit about how a team builds a rider's team around a Grand Tour leader. So Brian, can you start from the beginning? Where would you say the planning for a Grand Tour starts? Oh, uh, way back at the end, end of last year, the um, plans were put down and, and who, who was likely to ride and, and the training camps leading into the Tour. Um, so the key guys were all in uh, in Sierra Nevada recently yep. uh, training for the tour and um, so you'd have a long list of riders. How many would be on the long list? Would you say? Uh, it probably it's probably about ten for uh, ten or twelve for the yep. for the eight spots. Um, yep. But uh, the key guys are probably m pretty much penned in rather yep. than penciled in. Yeah, yeah. And how much um, we're talking about how you support a team leader here? How much do you think that? you take say Tom's advice or his influence on your team selection? Uh, I don't think we'd ask we'd ask Tom, I think we look at the uh, the credentials of the riders yeah. and, the, and the strengths strengths and weaknesses of the riders. Uh, you've got a big team of mechanics and soigneurs around all the riders but do, say for example I know that on some teams a leader um, might have their personal soigneur or someone they like working with as a mechanic or a soigneur, is that how it works on Sunweb or do no. you? No, we, we, we've got a big focus on team and, and everyone's uh, on the same level, and uh, so every, you know, the, the, the guys swap around between the really years. It always sounds a bit funny to me when you think someone has their personal carer. Right? It sounds just a little bit like favouritism, which is not that fair, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, Tom's obviously the, a really important part of the team, but the, at the end of the day, it's uh, a champion team that will beat a team of champions, so uh, we, we uh, try and keep it um, very fo team focused. Yep. So we've now grabbed a moment of Kevin's time. Kevin is one of the Sunweb team soigneurs. Are you Tom's personal soigneur? Uh, no, we don't have a, or he doesn't have a personal soigneur. We are rotating all over, um, just to keep everybody equal with his treatments. And yeah, it's also much more fun. You can talk to everybody during the race. I think that a soigneur's role is really, really important in terms of the mental well-being of riders. Can you tell me a bit about that time that the the athlete has on the massage table where you're looking after them and sort of one-to-one -one time where they can talk or sleep or relax? Yeah, actually what you say, it's their personal quality time and uh, yeah, if they want to talk, we can, yeah, I'm there to talk with them and if it's private talk or just something about the race or something political or about the movie or about the book or a girlfriend or wife or just sleep. It's just their moment and they decide what they want. Right, now I'm just slightly interrupting Philippe here who is the head mechanic for Team Sunweb. Um, don't stop working Philippe because I know you have an awful lot to do. Can you tell us a little bit about the pack up last night in Israel? Yeah, we had the uh, in Israel we have 21 bikes and we have quite a short uh, time to packing that bikes. We have two hours or something like that to to have uh, all the bikes packing all the material and delivering the cargo. So maybe you could tell us also a little bit about looking after the riders' bike. So do, does the team leader, for example, does he have a special personal mechanic or special treatment uh, on Sunweb? No, we have, uh, like as a mechanic, you said, a head mechanic, but uh, we don't have a head mechanic in the team, uh, actually. With, uh, everybody works together. We have few responsibles because make it more easy the communication, but in the end, we work all together. No, no, I'm the head here or another guy. You must have a special time trial bike for Tom, though. I think that, that made an appearance on stage one. Yeah, we have the, yeah, for Tom in that case, because of the world uh, title and uh, in time trial, we have the rainbow bike. But that's the only thing when, uh, so far, let's see, maybe it's coming. So you don't have a pink bike in the truck already ready? No, we don't have uh, any pink uh, bike and frame uh, so far, not, but we fight for that. <laughs> Uh, 
Right, hello, I'm Emma. Hi, I'm Chad. Um, can you tell me a little about your role in the race and how you helped Tom in the Giro? Uh, well, my role is, is to protect Tom as long as possible from the start of the race. I, I think of it as sort of a, a shepherding role just to, to guide him around and make sure he never touches the wind uh, until yeah, the, the, the final when the racing really kicks off. And then uh, and I sort of hand him over to the other guys who've been uh, also staying uh, out of the wind and not using their energy. So if he's not in the wind, that means you often are, I guess. Yeah, the goal is for both of us to be out of the wind, but uh, if crosswinds pop up or if we need to move or, you know, after a nature break, uh, I, I tow him around and make sure he for sure doesn't use any energy. Yeah, I certainly know that if you want to stay in position in the peloton, it's much easier if you, well, not that it's ever easy, but it's much better if you have teammates near you to, to, to sort of gang up on other okay. riders. And, and, and so having another Sunweb jersey near him will make Tom feel a lot happier in the bunch. Yeah, it's, it's certainly helpful to have teammates around to make space if you need to, you know, change sides due to wind or a corner coming up, and uh, just teammates sticking together is, is sort of the the way of riding now. And so, if if you're by yourself, uh, you don't get as much respect as when uh, the whole team is together. So I knew when I raced that having teammates near me who were making decisions for me, maybe when I was under pressure to perform, it really helped me mentally to stay calm. I didn't have to decide things. Are you the one who out on the road decides? whether you have to chase that break or not, if, if the radio's not working. Are you the team captain? No, I, I'm not. We've got Roy and Laurens, and, and Tom is also uh, pretty decisive and vocal about what he wants. So I'm more the, uh, I execute commands. I'm not the one uh, making the decisions. Now I have borrowed the time of Robin, who is the Sunweb team chef, who has a pretty stressful life, I think, because you have to change kitchens Every time you change hotels, right? Yeah, um, just like a normal day, it's getting into the kitchen, ask how it's going, can I get into the kitchen, get used to the new place, just ask everything, where is stuff, and then uh, every day just making uh, the nutrition for the guys. Do you, you have fairly specific diet plans for the riders that you work with nutritionists back home in Holland? Yeah, we have in Holland that we uh, two have two nutritionists, and uh, they say to me, "All right, today we're gonna have some uh, whole wheat pasta, or today we're gonna have some uh, normal pasta, and then make some menus uh, out of it." And together, uh, yeah, with the nutritionists in Holland, I'm making the menus together with them, and uh, I'm doing the cooking for the guys. And and how much um, is there personalized nutrition? Like, do some of the riders have? Obviously, everyone prefers different food, but do the nutritionists say, "Right, well, so and so needs that much, and so and so needs this thing special." Well, it's more like the things that are special for them because we, uh, obviously Tom, with the gluten-free, we have the, our other riders, lactose-free, uh, we're just having a little bit of things, that, but we're taking that in mind and then making a menu up front, what's good and what's not good. So you, you're telling me a little bit about the, the dessert you've got planned for the guys tonight, can you tell me, talk me through that? Yeah, we've got today, we've got the red fruit with uh, oatmeal uh, crumble. So uh, yeah, it's a rest day, so they can enjoy a little bit more. And then uh, we have salmon curry, uh, main dish. And then uh, we're in Italy, so we're gonna use some prosciutto with some melon. As a, and tomorrow it starts again with a new race day. Oatmeal, omelets, and then every day we're gonna make some news. I have to say it sounds really tasty. And if you've got three weeks of having to eat a lot of calories to get through a tour, I guess you need someone to make your food delicious for you. So here we have another of the Sunweb Director Sportif, Mark. Thanks for making time for us. We're here in front of the team bus, which is a hive of activity. So I know that on some teams they'll have a team leader who is um, the, trying to win the race, but they have a team captain on the road who, yeah. who makes the decisions and takes a little bit of that mental pressure off the team leader. Is that the case with Sunweb? Yeah, we also have a uh, road captain. Um, that's Roy Kurvis. It's also one of the... It is the oldest guy, actually, that we, uh, that we have here. <laughs> But um, yeah, he's having a lot of experience, um, and yeah, for sure in the in the first part of the race, he is uh, he's taking decisions. He's in contact with uh, with the car, uh, discussing things um, uh, with the car, and later on when it's coming more to the final, and um, yeah, and Tom is getting more that uh, that role, then he's taking over. Yeah. Right, now I have managed to corner a busy man, Peter, who is the Team Sunweb press officer. That is an underrated role in terms of protecting your riders and especially your team leader from media interest. Peter, talk me through how busy the last few days have been in terms of looking after 
last year's Giro winner uh, at the start of this year's Giro, when presumably there's a lot of media interest. Exactly, you see a huge difference in comparison to last year. Uh, last year Tom was one of the guys who could compete for a good uh, GC result. Eventually he won it, uh, we won it as a team. And of course when, when the start now is this year, it's really been really busy. Uh, a lot of attention. You see also of course the attention from Holland uh, especially uh, increasing. So where last year we, I think we started with just a few handful of, uh, of Dutch journalists and now everybody's here, so it's really a big difference. Uh, yeah, we started the Giro here with, uh, with a win, so uh, directly in pink. Yeah. And of course that's really major, uh, uh, it's really, really uh, busy for, for a guy like Tom. And I know that, that that's obviously a good problem to have, the media attention, because you're successful. But on the other hand, for some people, and it's a very personal thing for the rider, it can really weigh heavy on their shoulders. And I know when, when I was racing, if I had won the race the year before, I hated being there because I found it really stressful, the expectation. Um, you don't have to tell me about Tom, but how, how do you help him to deal with those, uh, all those media requests? Yeah, trying to, 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 to streamline that as much as possible, so that he has one moment where he does his story about the race, about his expectation before the race, uh, to, to, to centralize it as much as possible, and, uh, and that's the, the main thing actually. So uh, that he's not having a lot of th stuff to, 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 to look after. So on different moments where he has things to do, uh, that's not ideal, so you have to centralize and, and streamline that as much as possible. And um, also, presumably, generally you want to keep people away from the riders when they're trying to be private and prepare and have their important team meetings about tactics. So it's your job to keep people like me off the bus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you have, to, you have to balance the time that they are having for themselves and the time that they are supposed to be in front of a camera or talking to a journalist. And uh, if that's a clear distinction, that is the most in favour of the rider. Uh, so that's what we try to do as much as possible. Yeah, from the outside it looks like he copes really well, he's super calm and focused. Can I ask you about social media a bit, which I sometimes call anti-social media, but there's a lot for people, for athletes to deal with themselves these days, and it's quite a big pressure, it can take up a lot of time, it can mean they're on their phone late at night, when the, the blue light from the screen keeping them awake. Do you help them to deal with the, the Twitter and the Instagram and the Facebook when they've won a stage and they've got to put all the posts up? Do you help? No, not really actually. No, they are just uh, handling them by themselves, so they are free to do whatever they want. Uh, some of the riders uh, choose to do nothing on social media and others are quite active on it. Uh, that's actually up to themselves. So if they feel comfortable with it, they do it. Of course, we help them with uh, getting content, so uh, getting photos, getting uh, videos, so that they have something to post. Uh, but um, in terms of posting uh, capacity and, and intensity, that's up to themselves. So we know the Team Sunweb social media stuff is genuine. Good to know. Well, it seems I've just disproved my own hypothesis because it turns out that Team Sunweb treat all their riders the same. But actually, that's a really good thing and I'm glad to hear it. I think this video also shows just how much work goes into keeping a team at a Grand Tour rolling. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and you might like to check out Tom Dumoulin's custom world champion time trial bike by clicking down here.